How do you prepare for your speaking test? Struggling to get a band 7.5? Let me give you a simple but an organized plan that will help you in getting a band 7.5 in your IELTS speaking examination. Hello everyone, this is Yesha Manik from IELTSmaterial.com helping you to prepare for your test, write correct answers or give correct answers and get a higher band score in your IELTS examination. If you find this video helpful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe IELTS Material YouTube channel. Now let's look into the plan to practice speaking questions. Day 1. Understand the speaking test pattern. Before you start preparing for the test, it is important to learn different areas of the speaking test. For example, what is the duration of the test? What are the different parts of the test? What types of questions can be expected in each part? And how to answer questions in each part of the speaking test? After understanding the basic exam pattern, it would be easier for you to prepare for the examination in a structured manner. Day 2. Know the marking parameters. Analyze what is expected in the speaking test. The speaking test is evaluated under four marking parameters. They are number 1. Fluency and coherence. Number 2. Grammatical range. Number 3. Vocabulary or lexical resource. And number 4. Pronunciation. It is important to focus on all these parameters because they equally contribute to your band score. Day 3. Review the list of topics. After knowing about the examination pattern and the marking parameters, you should start making a bank of topics. Because the topics are repeated as well as reviewing various topics will also help you with the vocabulary bank. So it is better to have a list of topics before preparing for the topics. To do this, the best way is visit the website www.ielsmaterial.com where you will find numerous topics of part 1, part 2 and part 3 that is all the three parts of the speaking test. Day 4. Read the sample answers. Once you have collected all the topics, now the time is to start preparing. The suggested step is to read the sample answers. This will help you in understanding three important things. Number one, presenting the ideas coherently. Number two, learning new vocabulary. And number three, using correct grammar. Important note, it is not necessary to learn advanced level of vocabulary, but it is imperative to use a wider range of vocabulary and this will certainly give you a higher band score. If you want to learn more about reason speaking topics, then please check the video link in the description box. Day 5. Start your preparation with part 1. After doing all the other steps, now it is the time to apply your practical abilities. You should start preparing for each part and let's start with part 1. What would you do first? You should start collecting the topics like let's say your family, your hometown, uh, free time activities or the questions would be related to your work, study, uh, hobbies, likes and dislikes, your interest, a few unusual topics as well. Let's say football, sports, cooking or dancing or shoes. These are the various topics from which the examiner would ask you around four to five questions you have to make sure that you give the answers in brief but you also have to avoid one line answer. The questions can be, do you like cooking? When did you learn to cook? Why are you interested in this activity? All these questions are about yourself and that is why part 1 is called as introduction part where you will be talking about yourself and the questions would be completely based on your activities your interest, your likes and dislikes. So always try to use the first person that is I. Day 6. Start your preparation with part 2 and part 3. Always remember that part 2 and part 3 are interconnected. Part 2 is a monologue where the examiner will provide you a topic that is called as task card or cue card. 
you will have one minute to prepare and you have to speak on this topic for one to two minutes. Part three is a two way discussion. Here the examiner will ask you questions on an abstract topic but this topic is related to part two and that is why we say that part two and part three are interconnected. Always remember to manage your time in part two and give detailed answer or I would say expand your explanation in part three. These two things are very important when you're preparing for part two and part three. If you want to learn more about reason cue card questions, then please check the video link in the description box. Day seven, finally, understand your errors and focus on good communication. While practicing, record yourself and try to understand your errors. This will help you in getting a clear understanding of correct pronunciation, using synonyms, also using correct grammar and presenting your ideas coherently. There are other major factors to be focused on that is communicating naturally and smoothly, illustrating your answers with example, clear pronunciation and also avoiding repetitions of words. Following these steps for seven days will definitely help you in getting a higher band score. If this plan helps you in getting band 7.5 in your IELTS speaking examination, then please let me know about the same in the comment section below. Also, do not forget to like, share and subscribe this channel. For more free IELTS learning, please follow IELTS Material YouTube channel and stay updated. We would meet soon with a new exciting video. Bye. Thank you.